Good morning, Crossroads South. It is Wednesday, February 3rd, and it is a B day today, which means you have blue, purple, hap, and your B day encores. It is also a virtual day. We are on our virtual schedule. I think for the last day, I've said that before, so I'm not getting excited. No, not gonna do it. Tomorrow I'll come, we might change schedules, but I'm not getting excited about it. Um, in all seriousness, um, we are set for tomorrow to be our first day of hybrid. On the virtual principal's office, there is a link to the hybrid schedule. So we're thinking tomorrow is the day you get up earlier. So set your clocks, get ready. If you are an in-person student, you need to have your daily health form, which is in the parent portal of Genesis. You need to have that completed in the morning about like between 6 and 6.25. Set an alarm for that. I'm gonna have to do that myself and for the high school it's even earlier. So my daughter that goes to the high school, I've gotta get up at like, I don't know, 5.30. So set your alarm, log into Genesis, click on forms, your daily health form will be there. You need that in order to enter the building tomorrow. When you approach the building, you are going to have lots of friendly staff members there able to enter your name and we'll be able to check, all right, to make sure that it's all taken care of. I will send reminders, but remember, health form must be done. <clears throat> don't forget your masks, don't forget your backpack, don't forget your coat and a water bottle, and of course your books for an A day tomorrow, all right? I also wanted to share that for Black History Month, Mrs. Ackerson shared an awesome story about a young lady named Claudette Colvin. Um, Claudette, one of the things I love about her story is that we've heard um, a lot, actually, you know, I grew up learning about um, Rosa Parks. And Rosa Parks' story is that she wouldn't give up her seat on the bus just because of the color of her skin. Little known fact is that Claudette actually as a teenager did that very same heroic act months maybe weeks before Rosa Parks did it and as a kid she stood up for something that she knew was absolutely not okay and she risked a lot to do that take a look at her story but it reminds me of all the stuff we keep talking about which is when kids lead and for you guys to lead and to take a stand it's so important and you're our future so um we salute claudette colvin today for her bravery i also wanted to share with you that this week is national school counselors week we have three school counselors here mrs young Mrs. McCarthy and Mr. Dugan, and they are amazing. Not only do they take care of you and all of your needs, but they check up on us adults too. So please, 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 for those of you who have the kindest hearts out there, reach out to your counselors, wish them, wish them a wonderful week. If you have something to make for them, email it to them um, and just let them know how much our school appreciates them. All right, I think that concludes the morning announcements for today. I do not have a bear report, probably because it is absolutely dark and quiet in the school today. Um, so we'll see what happens. There's something about numbers I have to look for. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Again, tomorrow, new schedule. Home base starts early. I'm going to get up early to do the morning announcements. You need to get up early to get to school. If you're coming in person, don't forget your health form. All right, I'm a little excited and I'm sorry if it jinxes us, but it can't jinx us now. So I'm definitely excited. All right, folks, see you later. Let's do our salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, still so excited. Have a great day, Crossroads.